Bill 10 has made large changes to how health care is going to be delivered here in Quebec. It's eliminated more than a thousand middle management jobs, streamlined health agencies, and forced mergers into the boards that run the hospitals. One of the new groups created is, and this is a, it's a mouthful, the Centre Intégré Universitaire de Santé et de Services Sociaux, the Centre Ouest de l'Île de Montréal, or the CIUSSS. It's going to be headed up by Dr. Lawrence Rosenberg, who is the executive director of the Montreal of the Jewish General Hospital. And welcome. Good afternoon. So, first off, the CIUSSS. What do we have to call this? Well, do we actually, have to call it the CIUSSS? It's going to be a real mouthful well, for us. I do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's actually a, 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 an integrated network of care, um, and the main uh, objective of the bill actually is to put in place by uh, region or by territory. Um, a continuum of care for the patients that live within the territory of the Sius. Now, you've got uh, eight and now as of today nine institutions under you. It's going to be the Jewish Maimonides Geriatric, Mount Sinai, the Miriam Home, Mackay Institute, Jewish Elder Care, Constant Lethbridge, and the Cavendish and the De La Montagne Health and Social Services Centers. I mean, that's a lot. I mean, how is this going to work? How are you going to oversee all these institutions? Well, we're going through um, currently with the ministry and the minister uh, a reorganization of the administrative structure and, and that will play out over the next uh, two or three weeks uh, more and then it'll become a little bit more clear exactly how uh, the network is going to be managed uh, clearly uh, the patients and the clients that are being cared for and serviced at each of the individual institutions that compose the CS today are going to continue to be cared for uh, come April 1st when the, the switch is thrown and everything comes online. And in fact, probably one of the most important things that, that I can um, assure the population within my region is that there will be no, um, no uh, loss of service or diminution of service within yeah. the first few weeks that we put in place the new organization. But within the first few weeks, you know, and, and I think, you know, far be it for us to say that we're a little cynical about, you know, things that the government implements in terms of health care. Because the main questions are, is it really going to save money? But, but more than anything, is it going to change the services? Will people get better access to health care as a result of these changes? I think it's clear, uh, at least in my mind and in the minds of the team that I'm building, that we will be able to provide more timely access to people. Uh, we will be able to provide, ultimately, a higher quality service. And uh, part of the problem with healthcare generally today is the fragmentation of the care and the lack of continuity of care. Those two particular issues should be taken care of with the implementation of the new structure. You know, a lot of these, these institutions are much loved institutions. You know, Maimonides, Mount Sinai, Miriam, Jewish Elder Care. People love these institutions, and I think there's a fear, too, that they're going to lose that identity, they're going to lose their culture, and everything that they have built in the past. Uh, what I've been telling uh, our stakeholders at the Jewish General and the few that I've met already at other institutions is that these are your institutions. Uh, RCS is kind of particular because most of the institutions were built by the community and continue to be maintained by the community. That will not change. Uh, every institution within RCS has a, a role, a mission. Those roles and missions will continue, and we will work very closely with the stakeholders of the community to make sure that their attachment is strengthened, not weakened. Okay. Well, thank you so much for coming in, and you're I'm sure very you're very, welcome. very busy these days. Thank you. Okay. We'll be right back.